Hi there folks, I'm going to show you a new feature now of Sloodle 0.4. This lets you display PDF files in Second Life. We've been asked about this for years and finally we can do it. So if we open up a PDF file in our web browser, that's very useful and you can see the different pages that you can scroll through them. But we want to display them in Second Life. So we're going to use the Sloodle Presenter tool. So with the presenter open, we add the URL of the PDF file, select PDF type and click Add, and immediately it goes away, processes it all, and adds each page as a single slide to the presentation. You can see the list of slides there. So now we want to display this in Second Life, we use the Sloodle Presenter tool. Now this is a very new tool, you might see one or two of the other videos on YouTube about it. So we'll just let it download the image information, and then we'll zoom in, and we're going to activate Parcel Media. Unfortunately that means you can only have one of these per parcel of land, but there we have it. That's the first page of our case study document. And you can see the images and the text have all rendered legibly, they're clear, they're visible, and you can scale this up or down however you like. So we can step through the pages one by one, we'll do that now, onto page two, and there it is. Once again, images and text all appearing, and we can go through the entire document this way. It's almost instant, it doesn't take any time at all to set this up and to use it right away with existing PDF files on your Moodle site or anywhere else on the internet. So if we have a look at another page and we just zoom in now, you're going to see that the text is very clear, the text is very legible. It might not be obvious in the video, but it really is crystal clear in Second Life. So you can use this for your lecture notes, for anything else that's in a PDF file that you want to display in Second Life. Unfortunately this won't be compatible with all web servers, it relies on something called an Image Magic extension but it is available on some servers. And we just want to say a big thank you to Jordan Guino, who's done the work to make this possible. It's a fantastic step forward, and I'm sure many people are going to appreciate it. So thanks very much, Jordan, and thank you for watching.